Hey folks, I know it's been a while since I put anything up on the channel. Um, I've been fairly busy. And as you can see, Raven is in the hangar here and it's, uh, it's annual time. So we're doing our annual inspection. Um, I've had the uh, interior completely removed from it. There's so many screws. <gasps> so many Phillips head screws in there. So all the floors have been out and uh, it's actually, actually as you see it now, it's, it's starting to go back together again. Um, that's still wide open back in there. Um, did my inspections and this has all been removed and put back on again so I'm actually actually in the process of starting to put stuff back together so that's a good sign but uh, here's here's what I've been doing for the last few, few hours Well, that's a couple days taken care of. Uh, good way to eat up a couple days, start working on your airplane. Um, in here, you'll notice, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a brand new EMAG in there. So, out with the old and in with the new. So there's an electronic mag in there. So now, we've brought the timing up to the 1980s. So that's encouraging. Um, it was a little bit of a struggle for me because I am not nearly as flexible as I used to be, but uh, I had to, plant my carcass underneath that panel all the way up to the firewall to get in there to, uh, you know, to, to tie up some wires and pull the wires in and do a nice neat job. Not as flexible as I used to be, I tell you. It's, uh, well, after a couple of days of work, uh, we're getting ready to start to put the interior back in. So seats are in, um, floor mats are in, side panels and stuff are in, panels back together. I give her a good, uh, a good cleaning. Yeah, we're on our way to getting her back together. The new mag is in and timed. Um, timing on that couldn't be easier. Um, so with this uh, e-mag, it's, uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward actually. Uh, you just mount the, mount the mag in whichever way it fits nice, basically. Clamp it down and then set the uh, number one to top dead center and they have a, a manifold pressure line there. Basically, it's a little vacuum line. And uh, you blow into you turn the power all on, you blow into it a couple of times, bing, you get a green light, you're timed. It don't get no easier than that. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. So uh, both mags have been timed. The, uh, the other mag got a 500 hour inspection because it was due. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's coming back together. I'm still waiting for a couple of parts um, on this, uh, Unit right here, it's, still, it's a little loose, so don't worry about that, that's by design. Um, manifold pressure tap here for my manifold pressure gauge. Uh, that's part of the Dynon system. Um, I'm gonna tap into that and hook this line into there somehow once I get, once I get my appropriate fittings and hoses. We're just gonna tee that in so that they can both work off of manifold pressure. So uh, manifold pressure is what that uh, mag uses to adjust its own timing, so. Looking forward to seeing uh, uh, some maybe fuel economy increases, maybe a little performance increase, and uh, maybe a little uh, more reliability, maybe, we'll see. Um, yeah, so Raven's starting to come back together, annual's almost done. It's almost time for a test flight, so yeah, we're getting ready. Weather is beautiful out here today. Um, still a little bit of snow, but uh, spring is coming. Here it is, if you, it's hard to see in there, but there it is. Right there, there's my new EMAG. Uh, the one addition I had to make was this little uh, one inch scat tube to get some uh, fresh air from the uh, top of the uh, plenum and direct a little bit of that cooling air down to the, uh, there's some fins on the mounting bracket for the EMAG. 
Uh, they suggested that uh, it might be a good idea to put a cooling tube on there, so I thought, what the heck? Uh, it took a little bit of uh, a little bit of work, but uh, not not a big deal. And uh, I've actually come up with this little idea for wintertime flying. If it's not needed, I can just block it off like that. So, so that's the that's the uh, little block off for that. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna start throwing the cowling back on and uh, we're gonna see if we can't get this thing to run. All right, that might be a little tough to see, but the interior's back in. Um, everything's more or less back together, except for up here at the front. So, I uh, still gotta put the wheel pants on. Uh, I'm gonna leave them off for the first flight because the uh, taxiway is a little bit muddy yet. Um, not muddy, but it's gonna throw some sand in my wheel pants. So. Raven's back on the ground, we made it. Test flight's done, everything went tickety-boo. Um, no huge changes in performance, but still good performance. Um, still pretty early, it's only been a little half hour flight around the patch just to make sure nothing was falling off. I'll go through again, see if I found anything around the moose, but just a shakedown flight, it was all good. Um, I did stop at the pumps to get some fuel, and uh, I must say that uh, I mean, I've only done it once, but when she started up, boom, right now it started right up. So, uh, electronic ignition seems to be helping the starting situation anyways. Not that it was ever hard to start before, but um, it would usually, you usually go through six or seven blades before it fired. Now, one blade and she's running, so that's nice. Mm -hmm. 